A sport that's being tossed aside or is in danger of being at the Olympic level is alive and fighting this week in the Cowichan Valley. The International Olympic Committee recently announced wrestling would be eliminated from the Games starting in 2020. But the IOC later came back and said they would revisit that decision. However, judging by 500 high school wrestlers that have come to Duncan to vie for a provincial championship, this sport is as popular as it ever was. CTV's Chandler Grieve reports. They are the sons of Olympic wrestler and Port Alberni native Travis Cross. The sport is in their blood. But judging by the moves on the mats today at the provincial championships in Duncan, they're not the only ones with a bright future in wrestling. A huge uh, crowd out here. It's uh, exciting for the, the town of uh, Couch and Duncan. If you didn't know any better, you'd say this sport is thriving. The International Olympic Committee thinks otherwise. It, it's very frustrating to, uh, to try and swallow the IOC decision. Earlier this year, the IOC threw wrestling to the mat, announcing it will be eliminated from the Olympics by 2020. Uh, disgusted, it's, to sum it up in one word, but like, it was like the second sport in the Olympics, I think, after running, and it's like kind of taking out like a huge chunk of the Olympics. And you think maybe one day I could be there. But with them taking it out, it's just like crushing dreams. Many say politics played a role in the IOC's decision, which could be considered ironic. The sport they are dealing with is as simple as it gets. One versus one, nowhere to hide and no excuses. It's level playing field. You're both the same weight. Uh, it's really nice because there's nothing really you can complain about. If you didn't win, then you can't be like, oh, she was bigger than me. She was better than me. You just say, I need to work harder next time. As the sport grapples with its uncertain future, wrestlers this week are just trying to stay focused on their opponent. Provincial trophies and banners are up for grabs. And they got to just train, train, train. And that's, this is what it comes down to. You no know, BC Provincial Championship. You train from uh, October all the way here. You got to be ready to go. By Saturday afternoon, the champions for each weight class will be crowned. And the Island Saving Center will be in desperate need of a fumigator. Uh, we'll definitely need a few air fresheners for sure. Uh, but. Uh, that's hard work, right? That sweat, that smell is hard work. Horrendous. I'm more worried about the school buses on the way back. That'll be even worse than this gym. It's a smell that wrestlers hope stays around for a long time as they continue their fight to prove their sport belongs at the highest level. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Duncan.